And they haven't submitted an invoice yet. You said they were the said one when it was half done. They have not done that yet. We haven't seen the invoice. You know, and again, it's you know, like 90000 They should have submitted one for forty five or so, and they, they haven't. But they're busy, too, for sure. Uh, it's doing all right, but uh, they've had some issues with getting materials, too, you know. Uh, the, the well stuff is all done. The HVA stuff, HVAC stuff we're going to talk about here next. Uh, the basement wall repair, that's done. Uh, asbestos and mold, done. Whitlow security specialists, they're coming. Tomorrow, right? This Thursday, Friday. Yeah. So that will be done. So that uh, uh, yeah, that's to be Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday? Yeah, that was what they called about. Oh, yeah, 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 Yes, we do in three Thursday, so that's tomorrow already. Uh, said the flooring, so sign that contract probably uh, Wednesday. Wednesday, we wouldn't be here. Duct cleaning is done, office organization that Kim is done, the outdoor lighting of the flagpole and the bridge exit is done. So after we get the bathroom, the roof, <coughs> and then the next thing is the pull trigger on the HVAC, which is going to be an air purification system, not just do. Heating and ventilating. I mean, the furnaces and AC are ready to die. So, what we have to talk about is submitted a pack. We don't have to decide on this today. Uh, I know it's a lot of information I gave you. Um, in effect, what we have is a uh, at 24 630. Kettle Marine Heating and AC 34 125. And Martin's Plumbing and Heating 25 175. Uh, you notice my descriptions on the basis. Uh, for O'Leary, they use the arc systems, and they have two three ton and one four ton system for the AC. And the uh, furnaces, they have two 60,000 EP units and one 80,000. So it's two stage, it's more efficient. They have a 10 year warranty on uh, you know, the, the fire lock, we're going to call it that, and uh, the motor. And, one year, all of them have one year on um, uh, labor, and York and Lennox have 10 year on the major components, or Luxair, the one that Martin's has, has a five year one <coughs> on the major parts. So, and both Kelvin and Martin's uh, have very similar proposals. They both, uh, I'm sorry, uh, O'Leary and Martin's. They both have two three ton and one four ton systems, but the same size for the AC. And they both have two 60,000 BTU and one 80,000 BTU. We have three furnaces here. They are both single stage. Okay? So my recommendation as we sit here, um, and like I said, we don't have to pull the trigger on this today. We've got time. We have to order this stuff. But I don't see us putting in a new heating system in here. Because they can clear away in winter to do that, you know, still keep this building warm. Not likely. So, um, again, O'Leary goes with York, Kettle Marine, Lennox, Martins, Luxair. And my note on the bottom says all furnaces, AC units, will use a MERV 16 air filtration purification system. And that actually removes up to 99% of everything, including aerial wires which include COVID-19. All installations include the removal and recycling of all existing stuff. All installations include upsizing of the return uh, ducts in the furnace pot as well as the entrance because uh, gross the other side are in there. So um, I, my recommendation, even though we, we, we could act on this, I think that we all want to study this a little bit, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would like to. Okay. Yeah. And it's, if you do your own research, uh, again, uh, York Lennox and Luxair are all well known. Okay. I have to have a Lennox in my own home and I know you know that they're born and all that. Uh, but then again, Cal Marine is the only one that uses Lennox and they're like 10, 10 grand higher. Um, one thing, Todd, you mentioned uh, Cal Marine, you've crawled around all over the place in this building, right? Oh yeah, he was up in above everything, okay. just trying to figure out where all the duct work and everything went. Yeah, and, and, improvements. and trying to like reconfigure it so that it actually will heat and cool properly. 
That was yeah. Kettle Moraine. That was Kettle Moraine. Yes. yes. Well, you were telling us about that. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but one thing that probably me and you could do the homework on, not you guys who didn't look at it, but both the contract, is how much additional duct work he's done. The only thing he itemized was the duct work, you know, in the closet there. Yeah. Okay. And I made everybody else put that in their contracts so with apple and apple, okay? Mm -hmm. But he may have more duct work that he's, he's not listing here, but he's, again, yeah. he's 10 grand, you know, higher, yeah. you know, than O'Leary and Martin is those two guys that were for 500 bucks. Okay, which kind of makes sense. But when I add up 30,297 and 29, which one is that? On the Calamari skiing. Okay. I only see the two numbers, which add up to 33,260. Okay, uh, yeah. Maybe there was. I'm not sure what I'm missing to get to the 34. Yeah, uh, in the one email where uh, uh, he said he wanted, uh, let me uh, let's see, we had the filtration, he had to upgrade the filtration system from a MERV 13 to a MERV 16. Um, he included the three new thermostats, or the other two did, but they subsequently put, you know, I had to move back in, that's why I asked him to resubmit this. So if you look at that Kettle Moraine, we have the 30,297. Yeah. And then they forget about the dehumidifier. We're gonna whoever gets the HVAC is gonna put the <coughs> dehumidifier in for the whole building. Um, and then the option on the bottom is their pure air filtration system. And that you'll see two additional handouts on that. One of them shows the Redox, the air filtration purification systems. That's where they list uh, removing the COVID, the pure air system up to 99% of that. If once the health emergency subsides, we could downsize the filtering system to a MERV 13, possibly even 11. The only difference is the back pressure created by that type of filtering you get. You see, well, Larry said it's hard on the motors. Kevin Moraine says, no, Lennox designed their system to take, you know, these add-ons. So you got that one hand out there, and then the other one. Yeah, and that oh, pure, pure, that's purifies the air. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's why I think the real part. Yeah, uh, we'll go. We'll go from what we have in this building right now on a scale of 100. We'll go from basically 15 to 99. So that will help with pollen, dust. Smells, wires, um, the dust mite, and all that stuff. It goes down to three tenths of a micron. That's tiny. That's tiny. So, okay, that would be my suggestion. Uh, the only thing, like I said, if you look at your every one that I gave you today, he had an error on his page three, where one that you had originally said a low number, like. 20,000. Mm -hmm. uh, the correct number on that um, is um, he's showing 28,130, but that includes that dehumidifier, which is 3,500. So if you take out the 3,500, that's 25, that's 24,630, which is the number I have. Right. So it's going to take a little bit of study here. I can, I can see. But well, they all have the same size air conditioning units and they all have the same size for us. Um, okay, the PTU wise, again, you have to do the comparison between the one the single stage and the two stage, they are equivalent. But the air conditioner, uh, O'Leary and Martins have two three ton and one four ton, where Kevin Rain had one three ton and two four ton. So there is more air conditioning power on O'Leary's and Martins. So I think that's what's going to end up to come down to what I'm really studying all yeah. through, and I'll get with uh, Todd and we'll just verify with nothing else uh, to do that. So again, uh, that's the next big chunk, and as we were told the last four times that either our air conditioner was busted or one of the furnaces went out, was is the next time they don't know if they'll be able to fix it. So we're going to do this. Uh, but thing is, I'm not quite sure if it could be done you know, until April or something, but <coughs> we might have one too. Because you know, there's three zones, three furnaces, 
if you replace one, you know, take it out and replace it, is there a way to heat that zone that's now getting nothing, getting zero? And I would say if it's like today, yeah, probably. Yeah. It's, you know, zero out and I have 10. Yeah. Okay, does that sound good? Next one? You guys be ready to mm -hmm. talk about this one more? Okay. So I'll keep that right there. Okay, who comes up? I'll get it. Okay, uh, the second one came out of my Troy Troy meeting, uh, request from John Candle and the DPW of the town of Troy. This is not for the residents of the town of Troy. This is for the DPW when they clear trees off their railway or off their roads like we do. They lost their place to take wood chips. He says, would we take it? So I said, boy, we'll discuss it. And I asked Todd if um, we have any trouble getting rid of wood chips out of our compost site. That's something that leaves pretty good. Or? Yeah, There's, we get requests for wood chips for people all the time. Okay, so, all right. To have them bring it out there, we got the room. So, and then, like I said, it, they only usually, like if a tree goes down or something like that, or like us in the wintertime, is when we do majority of our tree trimming. I mean, it's not like they'll be out there day after day after day with loads and loads and loads. I mean, I would guess half a dozen, 10 loads throughout the winter that they might bring out. All right, I did ask John, what are the rest of the people do? Because we have a compost site that's for the town of East Troy by agreement, dispersing costs with the village of East Troy, so they need the compost site. Okay, uh, town of Troy, everybody's Compost, tree, yard waste, brush, they're on their own. I don't know. So um, I don't think we're solving that problem. I don't think we want to solve that problem. But he, the question, the request was not for town as a whole. It was for the DPW. And I would say that would be a really good thing to do, in my view. So. Do you have residents not just generally calling or? Yeah. You? Yep, they'll call and ask, hey, you guys got your chips, or next time you're chipping, can you bring us some? Yeah. But Mostly landscaping type stuff, right? Yep. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, the, the biggest demand is probably people that have walking paths, because you put down a layer of that, and after three years, it's basically lost if you can hold it. So they put another layer on, and your paths, now you're taking truckloads. And if you're there with the loader when they're there, that's the way you just yeah. yeah, they'll they'll ask, hey, is there a way that you can get a load up there and load it? And load it? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you guys like kind of have a certain day to return it over? And there, I mean, you have equipment out there anyway. So yeah. Do it then. Which, it's not like a special. It, 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 the only time you'd be able to come out and actually get it is the day, days that we're open and every other Saturday. Gotcha. I mean, there's nothing happening now. The cold is cold now. Sure. Yeah. The people would, would come and drop stuff off and pick stuff up, or just come there and pick stuff up. Yeah. But they do it when the, the published hours uh, when it's open. So, what's your thoughts, Jan? Good deal. Yeah, as long as I mean, as long as it, it's okay, if we, you know, I, I like to keep uh, I'm good with all the communities around us. I think that that's that would be a good thing to help them out as long as we're not stepping on anybody else's toes that we haven't let use it or we don't think or. Yeah. And it's not a burden for the town of DPW? No, not There was discussion by the town board when the uh, issue of lake weeds so that's what I was thinking. went in. And I'm wondering if there's any concern on anyone's part with, you know, Emerald Ash or any other type issues that a resident could bring up? Uh, well, it's chip, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not whole pieces or anything. It's, they got their own trippers and it's all ran through. Well, the law, and actually, you know that, the law is you can't go to a different county. Right. Yeah, it's right. It's within the same county. So. Yeah. And that's when, when Ashmore first started. That was a big deal. There was moratoriums and all that stuff. Uh, moving firewood from one county to the other. This ain't firewood. This is chips. Wood chips. So I just wanted that to be part of your discussion. So it doesn't come up later that you never considered it. That's what I was kind of saying is that we, we would talk to the lady doing the management district about those weeds. Yep. Are we yep. are we saying no one and yes to the other? Or you, you know, well, we, we because the argument there was to thought it would smell. Right. And another 
community. And it had to be turns, I think, was one of the questions that could have been seen. Right, right. Yeah. Um, right yeah, and next year, yeah. yeah. No? So I don't know if that's an issue with this, the wood chips at all. Chips are usually pick up and go or yeah. whatever. Yeah, they still just set the file and stays as long as they yeah. And the town of, so when we did ask the Lake Hilo Management District if they looked for other sources mm -hmm. first, I don't know if the town of Troy. They, they, they have, uh, well again, it comes down to the location and how far, mm -hmm. you know. So I didn't get a direct answer to how far it would be. I got the impression it wasn't close, <laughs> you know. And again, they could they could pile it up on their own property, but then what good is that? You know, it's not going to be in a situation where it's easy to manage. You know, um, gonna, I think it's a good will. If you're going to make a motion, just make sure it's limited to the town of Troy DPW. Well, and then maybe what if we revisit it again? Oh, Next July or something. Yeah. Actually, what will happen is if Ty says we have a problem, they don't come here and say, okay, what's the problem? We're getting two billion cubic feet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we start getting a lot then. Yeah. That'd be the only issue, but. Yeah, and I just can't see it going up. I mean, similar to what you do. Yeah. Um, basically. So. And it would still be just open to town of East Troy residents coming to get stuff or oh uh, you know, I don't know how you control who picks stuff up if somebody comes and takes stuff. I know dumping you gotta be village or town of East Troy. What about people picking up? They just have to come and get it, we're happy to hear it. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Do I need any other concerns with you? No, I'm good with it. Make a motion that we allow the town of Troy to deposit um, the, the, the town of Troy DPW to deposit their wood chips, their excess wood chips, in the, into the town of East Troy compost site. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second. Do we have a second? Do we have a discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Opposed? All right, I'll let John know. Okay, uh, next up, police report, Chief. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, Supervisors. I have a very brief report, each of you already.